हेलो एवरी वन आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल वंस अगेन सो आई थिंक मेनी ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स हु हैव काइंड ऑफ लो गेट स्कोर लाइक 500 हंड्रेड टू समथिंग अबाउट सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी और इवन फोर फिफ्टी टू सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी आर इन अ वेरी बिग डिलेमा एज टू हाउ दे कैन एंटर इन टू एन आई आई टी मेनी ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स आर कॉन्टेक्टिंग मी मेनी ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स आर आस्किंग मी इन द कमेंट सेक्शन दैट हाउ कैन दे डू देयर मास्टर्स फ्रॉम आई आई टीज एंड दे डू नॉट वॉन्ट टू गो इन टू एन आई टीज और समथिंग सो दे वॉन्ट टू गो टू आई आई टीज एंड दे हैव क्वाइट अ लो गेट स्कोर एंड दे वॉन्ट टू डू देयर मास्टर्स फ्रॉम आई आई टीज सो इन दिस वीडियो आई हैव ब्रॉट टू यू एन ऑपरचुनिटी विच इज कॉल्ड एज एम एस यस यू हर्ड इट करेक्ट सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी टेलिंग यू द बेसिक डिफरेंसेज बिटवीन एम टेक एंड एम एस एंड इफ यू आर थिंकिंग टू परस्यू एम एस इन आई आई टीज देन यू शुड वॉच द वीडियो टिल द एंड बिकॉज आई विल बी टेलिंग यू द की डिफरेंसेज बिटवीन मास्टर्स फ्रॉम बाय एम टेक दैट मीन्स मास्टर ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी and ms so without any delay let's get started see the very first difference between ms and mtech is that mtech is a kind of course which is kind of course centered i hope you get it and ms is a research oriented course or we can say that it is research centric course that means if you want to go to job in an industry like suppose if you are doing your masters in some specialization of civil engineering and you want to do a job in civil engineering field then mtech is a better course for that since it is course centric course and it will uh, let you learn the subjects or it will let you learn the theoretical knowledge it will let you gather some theoretical knowledge theoretical concepts that will be helpful for you in the industry whereas ms is a research centric course and it will uh, i can say that it will drone you in the research area and it will not teach you or it will not uh, let you learn too many courses there will not be too many courses while you uh, study your ms there will be very limited number of courses and you will be more focusing over your thesis your laboratory component will be very high in case of ms and whereas in case of mtech the laboratory content will be limited that means yeah there will be some laboratory section but that laboratory part will be very limited and in ms the laboratory part will be very high since you have to do research in research while you write your thesis what happens is you have to perform the experiments all by yourself to avoid plagiarism you you should not copy your content while writing the thesis that and how can that be done by performing your own experiments in the laboratory itself also one important and elementary difference between ms and masters is that masters is a fixed course that means you will be able to pursue your complete masters within a span of complete 2 years that is the minimum or maximum specified limit for mtech you will be able to complete your degree of uh, masters by mtech within 2 specified years whereas ms does not guarantee that you will be able to complete your degree within two complete years that means either it can take 2.5 years it can also go for like 3 years or 3.5 years that totally depends upon your mentor or upon your guide see one more difference is see what happens let me tell you my story i am doing um, mtech from iit delhi so what happens is in the first semester i had somewhere like uh, two two core subjects and uh, as per my choices there were two to three electives so basically i had to study five subjects five total subjects in my semester plus one laboratory component was there see due to the covid situation this has been shifted to the further semester but let us assume that there are uh, approximately five to six subjects including the laboratory section in the second semester also the situation is somewhat similar i have almost five to six subjects including my laboratory portion now what happens in the second year that means in the third semester there will be two electives that i will have to study and 
द रेस्ट ऑफ द पार्ट विल बी कंप्लीटली प्रोजेक्ट एंड माई थीसिस राइटिंग एंड माई रिसर्च ओरिएंटेड वर्क एंड इन द फोर्थ सेमेस्टर देयर विल बी नो सब्जेक्ट एट ऑल देयर विल बी ओनली रिसर्च वर्क वेयर एज इन एम एस वट हैपन्स इज यू हैव इन द टोटल स्पैन ऑफ थ्री ईयर्स और से टू पॉइंट फाइव ईयर्स यू विल हैव टू स्टडी just four to five subjects and that also depends upon your interest that you want to go for six subjects seven subjects three subjects four subjects there will be some mandatory core subjects that you will have to pursue there will be some credit requirement other than that it totally depends upon your personal choice that you want to pursue more subjects or not the rest of the work will be completely your thesis writing you will not have to do any other work uh, except this see if you want to do phd then ms is the best option for you because what happens is ms is a kind of research oriented work and you can convert your ms degree into an equivalent phd degree in some middle year as well also ms uh, lets you uh, see there is no difference when it comes to stipend both of the uh, both the students who are one one who is pursuing masters from mtech and one who is pursuing masters through ms both will get the stipend theek okay? hai second point is suppose you want uh, some of the students might be thinking that suppose if i want to become a professor in my later age then will i will if i do ms masters as ms will i be considered or if i do mtech then will i be considered so see phd has now become mandatory to become a professor so phd is common if you do mtech and if you do ms to become a professor you will have to do phd okay but if you are if you have done your ms also na then also it is equivalent to mtech no one will specifically ask you that you should be doing your mtech that you should have a mtech degree or you should have a ms degree they will say you that you should have an equivalent masters degree if you have done ms then it is well and good because ms is completely research based and it will be very easy for you when you go for phd since phd is also kind of research based and since you have some experience already in research oriented work then you will be easy to uh, uh, absorb it will be easy for you to absorb the phd guidelines it will be easy for you to absorb the phd theorems i hope it is clear to you now let me tell one more thing that uh, i i i see when it comes to gate score many of the students have good gate score many of the students have less gate score when it comes to mtech na then if you want a good branch if you want a good iit then you should have a kind of good score like 700 plus or 750 plus or even 800 plus if you want to go for a old iit and if you want to go for a core branch in old iit then it's mandatory that you should have a kind of gate score that is at least 750 plus for general students at least this is the least but when it comes to ms na ms does not require you to have a kind of very high gate score 800 700 even if you have 500 na it will work you will when you will fill the forms of ms na you will get a call definitely if you fill the ms forms and if you have if you have a gate score of like 500 550 then there are very high chances that you will get a call for ms because the students who have kind of good uh, score in mtech in gate they usually do not prefer going for ms that is why students with low gate score also get an opportunity to pursue ms easily what happens is ms has some share for gate score and a very high share for interview let me tell you there is a personal interview that is taken by a team of professors in the particular iit in which you apply and they will give very high weightage to your interview and there will be very less weightage to your gate score also the btec cgpa the btec percentage the aggregate btec percentage that you hold now that will also be a uh, kind of holding a very good percentage a very good uh, proportion in the calculation of merit when it comes to ms whereas in mtech you just require a bare minimum cgpa in your btec like 6.5 cgpa you should have or equivalent 60 percentage you should have below that it will not work but above it you are absolutely fine in ms Uh, btec cgpa matters a lot also interview matters a lot now see what is the rule for interview when you go for an interview the questions will not be direct uh, as specific as 
the questions in an mtech interview there can be interviews in mtech also but in mtech the percentage the ratio or the load that is given to the interview section is quite less as compared to that in the ms portion the interview will be just a kind of formality they can give either 15 to 20 percent to interview and rest of the 80 percent will be given to the gate score but when it comes to ms now there will be a very good proportion to interview so if you want to go to a good iit and if you want to pursue your uh, ms in a very good branch in a core branch then you should prepare your interview well also in the interview for ms you require to prepare some research proposal and that research proposal uh, is very important for the interview of MS and it matters a lot. You should prepare your research proposal in a very effective manner and you can check out internet that how to make a good uh, research proposal because that will be the center of attraction in your complete interview. Okay, uh, so I hope this is clear to you. Achha, let me talk about the uh, something called as placement opportunities. See, I have talked to one of the seniors from IIT Bombay. He is my super senior and he told me that the opportunities will be same for MTech and MS students. Suppose a particular company comes, suppose one person is doing MTech from environmental engineering and another person is doing his MS from environmental engineering. And suppose if a particular company uh, comes in the campus for the campus recruitment, then if you are doing your MS or if you are doing your MTech, you both will be completely eligible to sit in those uh, written and in the interview and you are eligible for getting a job in that particular company. They are very limited companies who put some hard and fast tool that we do not want MS students to enter. But see, uh, what happens is since uh, the person who is doing his MS is not course oriented. Okay, he will be learning very few subjects. He will be doing his most of the most of the work will be research oriented. And that research work is not that useful to the company, although it increases your knowledge in depth to a particular portion. But a company who comes to recruit now, he the company will not. Um, like it, it will not like that you are doing more of a research work and you are doing less of the industrial knowledge you are not gathering kind of good industrial knowledge so when it comes to this part then company prefers mtech because when the company takes interview when the hr takes interview or when the senior um, people in the company take interview now then they will definitely prefer mtech over ms if you have not done your proper coursework in MS, if you do much efforts in MS and you try to learn more and more subjects, you try to learn gather more and more industrial knowledge, then you are equal to a student who is doing MTech. Then it is a thing of no worry. But mostly the students who have um, made up their mind that they will be doing PhD, they have to do some research work, they have to go to abroad. Also, let me tell you, there are very good chances of going to abroad when it comes to MS. When you do your master's I mean, MS from IIT Delhi, IIT Madras, you have very extremely excellent opportunities that you will be able to do your uh, PhD from abroad. And after that, you can join any IIT, any NIT and you can be a professor and you can earn handsome amount from there. Okay, now one more difference is that in MTech, you guys have to select your own mentor or you guys have to select your own guide for a particular project. But what happens in MS? In MS, after the interview, after conducting some interviews, the mentor or the professor will choose you that you will be the person who will be performing research under his mentorship or un under his guidance. You cannot select your own mentor that we like this particular professor. He has a good knowledge. He is is good enough that you are not uh, independent of choosing your own mentor when it comes to MS but in MTech you can choose your uh, own mentor or, or your own guide. One more thing is that in MTech you are not compiled to uh, like publish some research paper or a journal in some uh, research fellowship but what happens in MS that you have to there is a kind of compulsion that you have to publish at least one paper in your name under your name and then only you will be given your MS degree so this is one of the important points that is highlighted in the MS and 
I have already told you that there is less lab work in MTech and there is more lab work in case of MS. And one more difference is that uh, the MTech admissions occur once in a year. That means in kind of June or uh, May, June, the admissions to MTech will happen and your classes will start from August or September somewhere around. But the case of MS is quite flexible. There are two times admission during a year, uh, one in summers and one in winter. Some IITs release in um, winters and summers both, some releases in winter. Most of the IITs or NITs will research their MS admission programs in winters as well as in summers. So if you are not quite sure uh, about what to do now, then there is an opportunity for you to uh, fill up the MS forms during the winter season. Then you can think you have enough of time and you can make up your mind for that. And uh, I think huh, workload depends upon your guide. See, uh, some of the students ask that will I be able to gather some time in MTech? See, in MTech, first two semesters will be completely theoretical subjects or some numerical portion subjects or barely some lab work will be there. So if you can manage time in that, then you can manage. Okay, it's up to you. But in MS, since from the starting only from the very first semester, you have to do your research work under some mentor of yours, then it depends upon your guide or the mentor that if he is giving you that flexibility of uh, taking out some spare time from your regular lifestyle. It completely depends upon your mentor and your guide that you have some time or not for some extracurricular activities or some preparation for government jobs or whatever you want. So this is one uh, another important point. And uh, yeah, that's all about uh, the differences. I hope I have covered all the differences. And yeah, both degrees are equivalent. I have told you this is one similarity and the stipend and the degree. These are two similarities that uh, while pursuing PhD, you can have both the degrees. That means either MTech or MS both will work and the stipend will be there for both the curriculums. That means for MTech as well as for MS. So these are the basic differences. And if you still think that you have a low gate score and you want to go to IIT to pursue your masters then you can try for MS definitely in the summer season or either in the winter season and let me tell you see suppose if you uh, if you are definitely sure that you have to go to IIT you are not looking towards NIT at all then suppose if you get a non core branch in IIT and if you get a core branch in IIT, which will you prefer in MTech? Definitely you will prefer a core branch in uh, IIT. Now suppose you are by MS, you are getting a core branch in IIT, but by MTech, you are getting a non core branch in the same IIT. Then as per my suggestion, you should definitely prefer the core branch in that IIT because you will have the plenty of opportunities in the placement wise. If you do some good efforts also, the tag of the IIT will matter and also the branch with which you are pursuing your masters since you are doing from a core branch, it will matter a lot. So this is just my advice. This is just my personal suggestion. Whatever you feel is apt, is apt for you, you should go with that. And I hope uh, I kind of related the differences between the two and the similarities between the two. So I wish you all the very best and thank you. Bye.